Next we're going to do another dip in. This time we're going to use our shapes and our stamp. This is quick and easy dipping if you will. Um, I'm going to put a bit of colour on so one of them I'm going to put just a tiny bit of my gleams again. Actually this one's the uh, the Cosmic Shimmer and then this one I do believe is that Golden Light again. I like this one. So a tiny bit of that on there. Of course you don't need much at all. It just gives it a base. So if you if you have a powder that's quite a light powder, this does give you a really nice rich base. So I'm going to put the blue on the other one. You can see I like the blue one, a lot of that's gone. I love this colour, it's beautiful. And this is the Gleams, what colour is it so you know? Um, this is the Verde Gris, I've said that dodgily haven't I? So it's blue basically. So we're putting a little bit of the blue on, not much, you don't need coverage, full coverage. We just want it so it's um, going to give us that nice contrast underneath. Now we're also going to use a stamp. I love background stamps and I'm going to just tap with my Versamark. That'll make sure it doesn't cling to the actual um, ute and of course it'll come off nice and easy. I love any background stamps. I mean obviously use a rubber stamp. Um, I've used one that isn't mounted just because I find it easier. I can feel the actual ute. Okay next bring our pot in. So this time with our melting pot we have got that beautiful, it's that red again, so it's that gorgeous clear, remember this is mainly a clear base with that fantastic red and the colour is just beautiful. Um, we're going to get it, make, make sure it's nice and molten and we're giving it a stir so all that mica's really really mixed in so we get that fantastic colour and now we're going to dip again. As usual, I'm going to warn you, not really for you, but for me, I'm rubbish with these. I am not a girl that's good with her um, pincery things, so you can't even remember what they're called. I'm not great at them, so if I drop it in the pan, uh, then it's just one of those things. The thing is, it's not a big deal. We'll get it back out again. Now, what we're doing is just a quick dip, so making sure all of it, making sure his tail's gone in as well, and then pulling him out and popping him down. Now, here... We've got a little air bubble, I'm not too worried about that, but I need to move quick because I want to put some texture in this. So I'm getting my stamp and I'm doing one bird at a time because I don't want obviously it to go too cool. So we're just popping the stamp in there and pressing down and then when we release, look at that. We've got all these bits that have come over the side, you can take back off again and look you've got fabulous texture what I love about this say you didn't want the tail to say you wanted the tail to actually um, be quite flat you could again just use your melt pot and just take the tail back can you see there how we're melting that tail but we're taking the the detail out so you can use your melt pot for adding extra detail but I love him I think he looks fabulous so that's our first little bird we're going to do the second bird as well these tweezers, because they are um, plastic, you can peel all the, the UT off. So again, makes it dead handy. So just find something that you are comfortable with, but that you can peel the UT off easy. I'm putting the, the bird quite close to the edge of my, my tweezers. And then again, just dipping in. So I'm dipping in so I've got a nice layer of beauty. Bring it out, use my tool to make sure I'm popping that flat on the surface. Now I'm going to show you the heat gun technique. Because you can see here now, I've got some holes, uh, some air bubbles. Now the air bubbles, and I'm sorry that noise is the heat gun. Uh, the air bubbles, if you don't want the air bubbles, like on this one it's in his face, so I don't want air bubbles there. I'm heating my gun up so it's nice and warm. And then I'm actually, I'll move the melt pot so you can see better. I'll actually start to melt this. Now, I'm only doing one layer, so I'm not too worried. I love it when they pop. Look, I've even created an eye by accident. Um, I love it when they pop because it's so quick. And I'm just melting that back now. There's a few ways of dealing with this. We can either re-dip it and you'll get loads, loads of beautiful texture. Or you can leave it if you want to. If you like those, those little holes, you can actually leave it. Or you can fill them in. There we go. Let's have a look at my little birdie, see how he looks. The bits that have obviously gone over the shape, we can move it. Do you know what? 
I'm leaving that because look that now I obviously will never be able to do that again I will obviously never be able to get an air bubble exactly where his eyes at so if you can do that well done I don't know how you've done it but that is um, not a planned one that's just lucky because obviously his eyes in the right place perfect we've got our gorgeous bird the lovely thing about this as well you'll get real depth to your color because we haven't stamped into it just leaving it like that gives it that fantastic glassy finish so